hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering unboxing. So we're on to the fourth of the five Commander, or new Commander products from 2020 that uh, coincide with the re release of Icaria. And this one is Timeless Wisdom, the Timeless Wisdom decks, deck. The um, lead Commander is Gavi Nest Warden. And uh, when we come to look at the uh, regular size cards, we'll, we'll go through some of the abilities on here. So we'll have a quick look at the blurb on the back. Obviously the contents is the same as with all the other um, Commander decks. And this one also has uh, tokens in it, and we'll see whether it has um, any of those uh, push out. Um, counters as well. So Timeless Wisdom. The Outlander Gavi spends her days in the wilds passing on her knowledge to her adopted brood of monsters. Those who mistake her calm demeanour for weakness tend to realise their error as they are devoured by cat dinosaurs. So is this going to be a cat dinosaur deck? Obviously, if cat dinosaurs are your thing, then uh, this is the deck for you. You can see here the um, on the on the again on the the single oversize that you get for the main commander. Uh, this is in foil. So let's actually crack open this. Well, before we do that, why not have a look at the how to play guide? So obviously these are specific for the particular deck. So we have a playing guide for the deck which lists the primary commander and then the secondary commanders. So we've got a regular secondary commander and then we've got some partner commanders that you can use as alternates. Then there's just in the centre the regular commander rules and on the back there's sort of some backstory for each of those choices of commanders. Uh, the main one, and then the secondary, and then what they are calling the partner commanders here. We've also got um, one of these life counters. So uh, 40 down to 21 on one side, and then 20 down to 1 on the other. Let's crack this open and have a look at what's in the deck. I can find a way in. Alright, let's get focusing on this and start going through. So, as I think I've mentioned in previous videos, uh, with these five decks, each one is a different wedge within the colour pie. So this is the blue, red, white wedge. And let's actually at this point go through this card. So this is Gabby Nest Warden, two blue, red, white. It's a two, five legendary creature, Shimon Shaman. You may pay zero rather than pay the cycling cost for the first card you cycle each turn. So clearly this commander's caring about cycling and also whenever you draw your second card each turn create a 2-2 two, two red and white dinosaur cat creature token. A secondary commander we've got Akim the Soaring Wind same cost of two blue red white legendary creature bird dinosaur it's a 3-4 with flying. Whenever you create one or more tokens for the first time each turn create a 1-1 one, one white bird Creature token with flying, three blue, red, white. Creature tokens you control gain double strike until end of turn. So lots of sort of reinforcement and synergy going on with the main commander if you're just using this uh, as a regular in a pot of the 99. So let's see what happens with the partners here. So 
This is our alternate part where we've got partners. If we want to do, go down that route. Uh, Braylene Skyshock Rider, three red, legendary creature, human shaman, partner with Shabraz the Skyshock. When this creature enters the battlefield, the target player may put Shabraz into their hand from their library. Whenever you discard a card, put a plus one plus one counter on Brian Sky Shark Rider and it deals one damage to each opponent. A single red target shock gains trample until end of turn. And it's a 3-3. Three, three. And then a 3 white blue. So that's the, the rest of that, that wedge. In a legendary creature shock bird, partner with Braylin Sky Shock Rider. Flying, whenever you draw a card, put a plus one plus one counter on Shabraz the Sky Shock and you gain one life. White blue target human goes flying until end of turn. And then we've got a number of uh, tokens, which no surprise, we have Dinosaur Kitty and a bird token. Yep, my um, guess is there's going to be a load of these because the deck is producing these. That's your dinosaur cat with your bird, and then we got spirit and treasure. So something is uh, generating treasure tokens here. Soldier with elemental. Elemental angel. Elemental and a kraken. So we've got something generating kraken tokens. Insects and drake. So there is a variety of different creatures here. Human Soldier, Drake. So we've got a thematic thing going on in terms of this particular um, theme of this card related to the description on the box. Um, but obviously this card is, is more about synergies with uh, cat dinosaurs than anything and, and cycling. Um, but the deck does seem to produce a, a wide variety of creatures. So it'd be interesting to see how what cards in here, um, while not synergizing with the commander specifically, uh, might be synergizing with other cards within the deck. So as with the previous decks, what they tend to do is to stack the, the new deck here. So we've got the uh, basic lands, uh, not the basic lands, the uh, uh, common non-basic lands at the top. And then we'll probably find that we've got a number of cards which are unique to this particular commander product. Some of these will be repeated across multiple decks where they're on color or where they're artifacts, but um, the ones what they're doing is near the top, they're putting all the, the, the newly printed cards. So we've got Ash Barons, and we're probably gonna see again the um, Ravnica lands, the original Ravnica lands. So there's Azorus Chancery, here's one. And it's the white blue one. Boris Garrison, the red-white one. We've got Command Tower in the deck. Um, Desert of the Fervent, which is a red cycling land. Okay, so there's the complete set of deserts. So the cycling deserts. We've got Drifting Meadow, another cycling land. Into the battlefield tapped. Forgotten Cave, which is a red cycling land. Uh, is it Boiler Works, the original Ravnica in blue red? Lonely Sandbar, it's the blue cycler. Got Myriad Landscape in here, which I think we've seen in some of the other decks, if not all of them so far. Mystic Monastery, they've been including. Um, the on colour wedge um, land. So this is the blue, red, white one. Got Reliquy Tower, which is a nice addition. So you have no maximum hand size. At one point, I don't know if this is still the case, this used to be fairly expensive. Tap add colourless. Remote Isle, another cycling land. Uh, blue this time. Secluded step, yep, so there's another cyclone in white and smoldering crater in red. So it looks like we've got um, 
two of the of the different types of cycling lands for each color for each color uh, of this deck. Temple of the False God is in here. Probably see if you've seen a lot of Commander products, uh, seal product. This comes up a lot in various decks over the years. And now we have islands. So the, all this artwork, as with the other deck, and you can see the set symbol is uh, is drawn from a courier. I think this is the first time they've done this where they've actually had the the artwork specifically marked up as coming from a set. Let's put those to one side. So now we're moving on to what I believe will be the new additions here. So these are new cards. We may, may have seen some of these in some of the other decks, but they're new for the 2020 product. A Cryptic Trilobite. XX creature trilobite cryptic trilobite enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. Remove an A plus one plus one counter from cryptic trilobite. Add two mana of any color. Oh, hang on, no, add two colorless. So actually, add two colorless. Spend this mana only to activate abilities. One tap, add plus one plus one counter on cryptic trilobite. So that's interesting. So there's a, that's pretty cool. This is like a, a mana generating creature where uh, the mana comes from counters, but it is colorless mana. Okay. Dismantling wave. Two and a white sorcery for each opponent. Destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment that player controls. Cycling six and two white. So six and two white. So I discard. Draw a card when you cycle. Dismantling wave. Destroy all artifacts and enchantments. So we need to keep our eyes open for for a number of cycling cards here because that seems to be a theme on that main commander. Six and two white. Herald of the Forgotten. Creature cat beast. When Herald of the Forgotten enters the battlefield, if you cast it. If you cast it, return any number of target permanent cards with cycling abilities from your graveyard to the battlefield. Crystalline Resonance, two and a white enchantment. Whenever you cycle on a card, so yeah, here we go. Here's our, our cycling synergies. Um, you may have Crystalline Resonance become a copy of another target permanent until your next turn, except it has this ability. Ethereal Forager, four and two blue. Creature Elemental Waves, this has Delve on it. Each card you exile from the graveyard while casting the spell pays for one. It's got flying whenever Ethereal Forager attacks. You may return an instant or sorcery card exiled with Ethereal Forager to its owner's hand. Fierce Guardian Ship. Two and a white. Two, sorry, two and a white. Two, two and a blue instant. If you control a commander, you may cast this spell without paying its mana cost. Counter target non creature spell. Agitator and two and a red creature insect. At the beginning of your end step, you each player may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature they control. Goad each creature that had counters put on it this way. Until your next turn, these creatures attack each combat if able and attack a player other than you if able. Spellpire Phoenix, three and two red, creature Phoenix for two with flying. When Spellpire Phoenix enters the battlefield, you may return target instant or sorcery card with cycling ability from your graveyard to your hand. At the beginning of each end step, if you cycle two or more cards this turn, return Spellpire Phoenix from your graveyard to your hand. Surly Badger Saw. Okay, what's a badger dinosaur? That's <laughs> three in a red creature badger dinosaur. So it's a three three. Whenever you discard a creature card, put a plus one plus one counter on Surly Badger Saw. Whenever you discard a land card, create a treasure token. So that's where our treasure tokens are coming from. Whenever you discard a non creature card, non land card, Surly Badger Saw fights up to one target creature you don't control. Chroma's Vengeance is in here. We've got four, two white sorcery, just all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments cycling for three. 
Astral Drift, two and a white enchantment. Whenever you cycle Astral Drift or another card while Astral Drift is on the battlefield, you may exile target creature. If you do, return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of your next end step, cycling for two and a white. Decree of Justice, XX two and two white. Create X44 four, four white angel creature tokens with flying. Uh, cycling for two and a white. When you cycle Decree of Justice, you may pay X. If you do, create X11 one, one white soldier creature tokens. That's where our soldiers are coming from. Descend upon the sinful. Four and two white sorcery. Exile all creatures. It's got delirium on it. So create a four four white angel creature token with flying. If there are four or more creature, four or more card types among cards in your graveyard. Eternal Dragon. Five and two white creature dragon spirit with flying. Three and two white return eternal dragon from your graveyard to your hand. Activate this ability only during your upkeep. Plain cycling of two. Hoof Prince of the Stag. Two and a white tribal enchantment elemental. Whenever you draw a card, you may put Hoof Prince hoof print counter on Hoof Prince of the Stag. Two and a white, remove four hoof print counters from hoof prints of the stag, create a four four white element creature token with flying. Activate this ability only during your turn. Sun Titan, so we're moving in now to, to reprints uh, from, from going from um, cards that uh, are new to, to the reprints. Um, so Sun Titan, four and two white creature giant with vigilance whenever Sun Titan is about field or attacks. You may return target permanent card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Curator of Mysteries, two and two, or two and two blue, creature sinks with flying. Whenever you cycle or discard another card, scry one, cycling blue. Drake Haven, two and a blue enchantment. Whenever you cycle or discard a card, you may pay one. If you do, create a two two blue Drake creature token with flying. New Perspectives. Five and a blue. When new prospectors enter the battlefield, draw three cards. As long as you have seven or more cards in hand, you may pay zero rather than pay cycling costs. Nimble Obstructionist. Two and a blue. Um, creature Bird Wizard with flash and flying. Cycling two and a blue. When you cycle Nimble Obstructionist, counter target activated or triggered ability you don't control. Portal Mage. Two and a blue, human wizard, two two, with flash when portal mage enters the battlefield during the declare attacker step, you may reselect that which player or planeswalker target ta attacking creature is attacking. Charge a flame caller, four and two red, uh, four loyalty planeswalker, plus one, create two three one elemental creature tokens with haste, exile them at the beginning of the next end step. Zero, discard all the cards in your hand, then draw that many cards plus one, and minus X, Chandra Flame Caller deals X damage to each creature. Tectonic Reformation, one and a red, enchantment each land card in your hand as cycling red, cycle two. Esperia's in here, uh, Esperia's Supreme Judge, two, two white, two blue, legendary creature Sphinx, six four with flying. Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, you may draw a card. Mercurial Chemister, three blue, red, two, three, creature, human, wizard. Blue, tap, draw two cards. Red, tap, discard a card. Mercurial Chemister deals damage to target creature equal to the discarded card's converted mana cost. Okay, so Niv, is it the far mines in here? Two, two blue, two red, four, four, legendary creature, dragon, wizard, flying. Whenever you draw a card, and if Mizzet, the fire mine deals one damage to any target, tap, draw a card. A Locust Gods in here, four blue, red, four, four legendary creature, God with flying. Whenever you draw a card, create a one, one blue and red instant insect creature token with flying in haste. Two blue, red, draw a card, then discard a card. When the Locust God dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. Abandoned sarcophagus, 
Three to cast, artifact. You may cast spells that have a cycling ability from your graveyard. If a card has a cycling ability, if a card that has a cycling ability when you were put into your graveyard from anywhere and it wasn't cycled, exile it instead. Fluctuator. Two to cast, artifact, cycling abilities you activate cost up to two less to activate. Psychosis Crawler. Five. Uh, artifact creature horror. Psychosis cause power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your hand. Whenever you draw a card, each opponent loses one life and it's a star star. So now we move on to some more land. We've got some rares here. We've got Exotic Orchard. Add one mana of any colour that a land an opponent controls could produce. Hostile Desert. Tap add colourless. Two mana of any Colour, exile a land card from your graveyard. Hostile Desert becomes a 3-4 elemental creature until the end of turn. It's still a land. Irrigated Farmland. So these are dual lands with cycling on them. And they come into play tapped. This one's a white-blue one. Prairie Stream. It has a condition on it. So it's um, white or blue. Tap for white or blue. Plains Island. But it enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. Shivan Reef, blue red, pain land, uh, but you can tap it to add colourless if you want to. Uh, sky Cloud Expanse, we've seen a few of these, so these are filter lands for colour, for, for mana of any colour. So one mana, any colour, tap, add white blue and then we move on to some basic lands looking through that stack actually my suspicions are there were a number of new cards that were ran randomly sort of put through it wasn't quite so stacked but i could be wrong there so a bonder's ornament three to cast tap add one mana of any color or tap each player who controls a permanent named Bonder's Ornament draws a card. Arcane Signets in this deck, as it is in all the other decks so far. Then we've got uh, an on colour Signet, which filters here. Zoria Signet, yep, Bora Signet, so we've got white, blue, the red, white. We've got Commander Sphere in the deck. There's Izix Signet, the third one. Soul Rings in the deck, it's in all of the decks. Rugrin Crystal, three colourless. You can see this has come from a courier. Um, tap, add blue, red, or white. Valiant Recruiter, one on a white here. Yeah, so these are the cards that specifically were printed in Icuria. They've, again, they've done this with the Commander product this time around. This one's got uh, card draw and cycling on it. Boon of the Wish Giver. Neutralize, also from Coria. Counter spell with cycling. Ominous Seas. This is where the Kraken is coming from. It's also got cycling on it. Reconnaissance Mission. Two and two blue. Rooting Moloch. Four and a red. Another card with cycling. So you seem to have a lot of uh, Ikora cycling cards in this particular deck. Savai Thundermane. Zenith Flare. And then back to the ones, uh, the uh, Commander 2020 badged ones. Martial Impetus, two and a white. Psychic Impetus, so there's a number of impetuses, all the, and, and a shiny Impetus, the red one. Cast out in here. Spirit Can, Spirit Can. Hieroglyphic Illumination. Card draw with cycling. Vizier of Tumbling Sands, another cycling card. Windfall, 
Lightning Rift, Slice and Dice, Migratory Root, so our bird tokens are coming from. Got a bit of land cycling on there as well. So that's interesting. I was expecting with hoof tokens they might do something special, but um, you know, there's little counters, but in this particular night, it would appear that um, only in certain decks you seem to be getting those um, push out counters. So there we have the deck. It looks pretty interesting. Obviously, what we're seeing here is um, a lot of cycling synergies, if I can actually find the commanders. Um, yeah, a lot of cycling synergies going on. I'll get there in the end. <laughs> between the, the lead commander here. Uh, this is obviously generating its own um, and doing its own thing with the uh, the dinosaur, um, two two red and white dinosaur creature cards, dinosaur cat creature token, sorry. Um, but then we've got another a number of other cards that seem to be generating um, additional a broad range of creatures as well. So it looks like a real interesting deck. Um, it's obviously not quite as dinosaur cat tribal as, as you know, you might think it would be. Um, it's more like multi-creature tribal, I suppose. Um, but anyway, it looks a real interesting deck. Um, thanks for watching. Bye for now.